G'day mate, welcome back to Captain Ministry with me, Jiddy. Today, today we have a bunch of things we have to do, as always. We've got a bunch of things we've got to tidy up. I've got to actually tidy up a number of things from last episode. There's a few things that were skipped, bypassed, uh, not really looked at. Uh, yeah, we've got a few things we need to tidy up. At the same time, I need to thank you guys. I need to thank you guys, as always, for clicking like on the videos, subscribing to the channel, sharing the videos, and also need to give a big shout out to those that are going above me on, those that are choosing to support the channel, keeping the channel ad-free. Today, today we're going to be thanking uh, Lucas, Lucas Rebello, uh, for supporting the channel and managed to do a perfect three-point turn without crashing into everything. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, also, thank you for promising not to, you know, file any worker complaints about the long shifts that you're going to have, because we're extremely busy and I need to try and fix that. I also need to fix this. Ooh. Okay, alright. So, today's episode. Today's episode, actually, we're going to start with that. Okay. Today's episode is... That's an import. That's my issue. Uh, today's episode. First thing I need to do is I need to union build both of these. Actually, no. First thing we need to do is we need to go research. Research. So, I just got therm... No. Thermal, thermal, thermal desalination, uh, which is actually one of the things we're going to be playing with with this episode. I need to provide some drinking water to keep the people happy. Same time, I'm going to grab, grab this research. This research is going to give us an extra 20 vehicles. Super, super important. Also going to grab large storage because everybody knows what la large storage is. We're also going to get the truck overloading edict, mainly because it's an edict, which means I don't have to talk about it too much. Also, the edicts two for plenty of food, water saver, farming boost three, and maintenance reduce two. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for now. Um, there's obviously other researches we're going to look at and talk about, but for right now, that's going to be the main two. Actually, we'll get electrolysis, and we'll add in wastewater treatment, because that's probably going to be next episode. Although I keep saying we're going to do glass. We haven't got around to glass yet, so who knows? All right. I needed these two warehouses done. Uh, we're going to have a wood one here, okay? You are local wood. You are going to be export wood. We are going to export with the right color button. Uh, to here. Also, I'll throw an export into... Uh, no, I won't. I won't. Okay. And the idea is that trucky harvesty boys, hey, there they are. Rather than them having to drive halfway across the map this way, they now have to drive halfway across the map this way. And then once it gets in here, we'll set an export priority of 15, and then hopefully some other truck comes and picks up the wood from here and takes it over to there. That's the plan. Whether it works or not, whole different story. So that's the first thing I had to do. Second thing I have to do is we need to fly across the map. Is I never put up a put in a way to pull out fuel gas. So we sort of want to have that happen. And we're going to prioritize that out into that tank. I want to have fuel gas accessible for the rest of the network. When we need it, I don't know, but we're going to need it. Also, I've paused this guy mainly because I just need this buffer full. Okay, I need the buffer full of sulfur. Mm, we've got a, we're producing enough. But I'm trying to fill up this container. Also trying to fill up the acid container, wherever it is. And basically, I just need to buffer up some more. So whilst we're buffering, we'll just turn off slag production. Uh, eventually, it'll complain to me. Next thing I need to talk about is the dumping guys. The dumping guys are doing a great job of dumping soil. They're doing a shit job of dumping solid material. I don't have enough solid material to dump, um, which is a bit of an issue, which we're going to come back to. All right. Uh, that, that, that. What else do I have to do? I had to talk about these pipes. I've come through here and I've upgraded a whole bunch of pipes to T2. Um, I think I've got all of them. Yeah, I think I've got all of them. I'm pretty sure I've got all of them. If not, uh, you've had a quick look at it for half a second. If I miss one, please yell at me in the comment section. We'll see about upgrading in the future. But that's steam in a pipe. What oh, direction? Hey. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're all done. Oh, you. No. You, you a boo boot. Uh, I need a priority in from the heavy oil. And I need a priority you out to both. Okay, speaking of this one, this is going to be the next one we're going to do. I am currently making rubber all the way over here with my brand new naphtha. That's awesome. Toggle direction. Uh, yeah, you should be able to filter back that way. Okay, I want to remove Mr. Rubber Man. I want to move Mr. Rubber Man to right here. Reason being is occasionally trucks manage to jump this corner through magic. And get stuck in this corner. So I want to alleviate the process. Also, I want to clear this area. I want to clear this area preferably reasonably quickly. But let's be honest, it's going to take a while. So I want to cut uh, that pipe. We're also going to set you to delete. Uh, yeah, de delete. I'm going to take my... Oh, uh, well, 
just quick remove that and toggle the direction on that and I'm going to take that in there that works for me we also are no longer producing rubber from here to here so we're going to remove that plus that plus that okay with those out of the way and you out of the way I nope Mr. Tar oh I need to yep just one tile one tile one tile and spend all that uni I want to be able to put a unit storage mark 2 come on come on remove faster Oh gosh, okay. I'll put one of those in there and I want to plug that into there. Okay, it's just going to shorten the route a little bit. At the same time, you are now empty, correct? We're going to set you to be sulfur. I'm going to upgrade you to the next level storage. You only use three. You store 180. Yeah, I don't think I need to actually upgrade it. And we're going to tuck that belt in there. Uh, Unity build, all of that. And you are now flowing the right direction. Yes. You're going to go in there. We're going to set a recipe, obviously, and that's going to solve... Even better if I add that on the end. That's going to solve that problem. Now, I am making, providing you're running flat out, uh, which hopefully if I drag that up, you will be. I am making 18 rubber. 18 rubber comes over here, and rubber... Can I right-click on that? I can! Excellent. Rubber goes into one thing, and that's electronics. That's it. And we can see, well, we can use this as the ratio. If I'm making 18, so that is a 12 and a 6, which means I'm making, what, 72, 72 circuits? Uh, you're using 6, you're using, you're using 6, and you're using 1. So I should have plenty. Now, I do need to store some amount of rubber because we are going to need some amount of rubber to, uh, to make belts. So I need to have a little bit of excess, and that's sort of going to be the plan. Uh, but yes, that should get removed. And funneled over there and then we should should be good next thing i want to do is i need to clear some future space so we're going to come around with the decon planner and we're going to go remove those i'm going to remove those they're paused they're not doing anything but i prefer them gone i want to remove that i want to remove that and i want to remove that at the same time i want to put you in there and fuel station here here uh, you are a fluid storage mark one yes okay we're gonna plug that into there and I am going to you need to build that and that and that and then we're gonna hit delete on that tank, that tank, that tank, and that tank. Uh, which means if I set you to diesel, you should fill up. We're going to come to this diesel fuel tank, and I'm going to upgrade it. Why? Because it'll store more diesel, which means they have someone to put dump it. Also going to upgrade that one, because again, it'll store more diesel, and they'll have someone to dump it. On the meantime, uh, we're just going to talk about this really quick. I have a whole bunch of these queued up, waiting for this research to happen. When it happens, we're going to get another 10 trucks. Which hopefully removes extremely busy. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's the plan, at least. Okay, so they are going to hopefully bring a whole bunch of diesel and take it to important places, like across the map. Yep. I guess they're going to take it across the map first. And after they finish taking it across the map, they'll then bring it here. Uh, you still get diesel, yes. You now get diesel, so I'm going to remove two trucks from that. Add two trucks to there. We're going to also delete all of that. And all that. And all that. And all that. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a real cleanup. And hopefully the crude oil can get put into there. That is a little import tank that goes into the main crude oil mix eventually, slowly. Not very well. All right. Cleanup done. Uh, fuel gas done. Uh, oh, other fuel gas. Um, you... No, you're not full yet. Okay, all right. That's the plan so far. All right, next thing we need to talk about is these guys. Now, it's been raining nonstop, okay? It's been raining for days at this point, which means I'm back to full. And I think the issue is that I'm right on the edge of how much water I can pull out of the groundwater reserve, okay? Limited testing, limited testing, I admit, fully admit it's limited testing. Limited testing shows I can use about two and a half of these off a single groundwater. It all depends on the weather, depends on how often it rains, all that sort of stuff, but that seems to be my impression. 
So, wow. in my case, I'm actually using one, two, three, four. Now let's talk about number four. Number four is making concrete, uh, which outputs 48 water per minute. And that is export off, so it can't go anywhere. And these are using six, 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 and six. So I'm actually only using 24 water per minute out of this system. Please tell me I didn't hit that. Cool. I'm only using 24. So this guy's running at half speed. This guy is producing 48 water. Now, technically, when it comes over here, I need to run this boiler and this boiler not quite flat out. I need to make um, 100... No, I need to make 84 steam, 84 steam or something like that. I don't have the exact mass, mass in front of me, but I need to make 80 odd steam. Now, I am getting 24 water back from this process. So, it's like 60 water to make steam. This pipe, well, this machine outputs 48. So, obviously, I'm not running this system flat out. It's probably because at the moment we have a whole bunch of diesel helped by the fact that I just destroyed all the diesel tanks. So, you know, there's five in there. They should remove that without a problem. So I'm going to uh, build that. All right. So we are obviously not running this system at full speed because obviously I'm not using that amount of water. So that's one thing. These two over here, they're producing water to come in here. At the moment, we're using 69.2 water. Nice. Which means one of these is definitely running flat out. The other one's running at least 50% speed. Plus, I'm bringing water over here. Now, when I bring water over here, it runs these farms. Now, the farms use a certain amount of tank. Uh, we can see average soil need of 30, 33.8. I don't know if that accounts for rain. I don't know if that accounts for rain. I th that's just the average use for the crops, but that doesn't obviously account for rain. And obviously, when it rains... We have these water catchers catching some amount of water, filling these tanks, which is then feeding into the system as well. On top of that, we're using the tiny, tiny, tiny bit of water to run acid for copper. So these are at least, at least running at a speed of 69.2. But uh, above and beyond that, I don't know. So what I want to do is I want to get desalination. If we get desalination, vehicle management done. There we go. We can get another 10 trucks. Oh, uh, we can get rid of deconstruction efficiency number two, because, you know, JD deconstructing things, big surprise. So, and recycling increase just means that when we get to recycling, it'll be more efficient. Okay. So I have a couple of options when it comes to desalination. We have a basic distiller. Basic distiller brings in 60 seawater, plus six coal, gives me 36 water and 24 brine with some exhaust. Now, if we put down three of these really quickly... And we say 36 plus 36 is 72, plus 36 is 108, 108, 108 water per minute from three of these using uh, 18 coal. So 6, 6, 6 is 18, yes. Our second option is a thermal desalinator. Thermal de desalinator is going to need to have 12 high pressure steam in and it's going to give us 48 water, yeah, 48 water. Which means the way I get I get steam is from a boiler. Well, it's also going to use 18 coal, and it's going to give me 48 steam. So I can then run four of these, giving me uh, 48 plus 48 is 96. Yep, plus 48, 48, which is another 96, which is 192, I think, minus. 48, I need to run this guy, which brings us back to about 150 water. I can get about 150 water out of this compared to about 100 out of this. So obviously this is the system we need to use. Uh, so we're going to remove those guys and then we're going to start planning. All right, so I want to flippy floppy these uh, and shop. Sure. I want to put our boiler. Uh, we're going to flip you... Yes, flip you that way. Okay, uh, you are going to need a smokestack. Let's get rid of... Nope, smokestack normal. Uh, let's get rid of the simple things first. Smokestack, plus you're going to need to bring in salt water and also steam. So we're going to bring out a pipe... Actually, pipe up one will do the trick. I'm going to come out... Ooh. I'm going to move the whole thing. Now we can move things. Oh, this makes life so much easier. All right, we're going to come up. We're going to come across. Nice and simple. We're going to bring you down and, and around and down and around and cancel that that's a closed system nice and simple 
Also need to bring in the salt water. Now, the plan I have for the salt water is something along the lines of these two. Plus these two. The reason it's these two plus these two is you're going to use 60 and 60. That's 120. Conveniently, we have a salt water pump, a seawater pump rather, that outputs 120. Let's put you here. Here, 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 here. Okay, you are going to put uh, output 120. We also have the bigger version, which... Let's go over the cliff face. We have two versions. We have a big version. We have a little version. Now, the little version reaches the water just here. The big version reaches way deeper in the water. This is designed for cliff face. This is designed for, you know, on the coastline or a short cliff. In my case, I can get away with a short cliff one, which just means I get to use construction part two, rather construction part three, and it uses less power, which is always a bonus. But I'm going to need two of these guys. So we need to try and get a second one in around here somewhere. Uh, sure, I'll take it. All right. Uh, next thing we need to deal with is we're going to have to deal with the brine. Okay, so we have clean water coming out and brine. I want to take the brine, which is 2448 Mark II pipe, and we're going to bring it up and out to the right or left um so one thing i can do with brian is we can have an evaporation pond an evaporation pond will bring in our our, our either seawater or bring in oh you can bring in straight salt water and go to they want to go straight to salt not very fast, but it'll bring in our brine and convert it to salt. Now, I do need salt for glass. That is some of the, one of the things I do need. But I don't really want it here. So I think, and this is the evaporated pond, there's a heated version. Heated version is, uh, well, a uh, little bit more expensive for construction parts. uses a few more people and a bit more power, but it's also way more efficient. It is twice as fast. Twice as fast. Twice as fast. Okay. I don't want the heated version. I just want a plain version, I think. And actually, let's just check. Salt. Salt. I cannot put on the potatoes. I can currently just use it to make glass. We get to use it later to make meat and all sorts of things. But for the moment, it's just going to be used for glass. So I don't think I'm going to bother unless the opportunity it just becomes blatantly obvious and we can just whack one in really, really easily. So what I want to do is I think I want to move this. Uh, good question, Jenny. Where do we actually want this? I definitely don't want to block off access. Okay. We're going to slide it this way. And I need to have a one pipe gap for the seawater pump closest to me. So I think we're going to go there. I'm going to plug you into there. And we'll plug you into there. Uh, that means my... Let's get a transport, a pipe balancer. We're going to put you here, 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 here. We're going to bring in a pipe. Please tell me you make clearance off that. Yeah, you can. Uh, pipe. Nope. Ground level. Pipe. Bah! Pipe. And pipe. Okay, so that's going to be our inputs. Now, first thing I need to do is, obviously, I need to get water into this guy. So you're going to get a water connection. On top of that, we're going to give you a storage. We're going to go with a loose storage, too. I want to direct connect. I can't direct connect because the pipe's there. All right, I'm going to put it really, really close with the shortest belt in the world. And at the same time, we'll tell the coal guys, please fill up this box, uh, which is not how I've been doing it currently, but it's so close, I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. All right, so that's going to give us our water into here, which we'll need to bootstrap the system and keep the system running. On top of that, we're going to have Brian. Brian, we're going to bring out. Uh, do I want it this way or that way? So I have this seawater dump, which is what we're going to do with the Brian. We're just going to dump it back in the water, uh, back in the sea. And I think I can put another one there. Yeah, now let's go to the left. Uh, so we're going to come out, upper tile, up, oh, upper tile, to left and we'll run directly on top of the existing pipe and can I just stop there for a second because I just want you to magic into there and you can magic into uh, here yep I'll accept it okay so then it should be a case of Brian goes over there 
Brian goes into there, and Brian goes in there. All right, with that done, we are going to instant build everything. I need to unpause that guy. Oh, the other thing I need to do is find out why people are dying off. I need to pause that liquid dump, because that liquid dump's been doing nothing for a long time. Flu? Infection. Sediment full of waste. Oh. Oh. Okay, first thing is, upgrade that. Uh, second thing is, let's put a second one on there. Uh, upgrade you. We don't have an alert. Uh, notify if greater than 75%. Uh, you are going to do trash alerts. Notify if greater than 50%. Uh, we're going to set you to empty as well. Uh, you're a priority four. You're a priority seven. Okay. And the reason is, is we don't actually have anywhere to dump trash. That's all it comes down to. They have filled up all the trash tiles. Uh, and they've also filled up all the greenery tiles. Can I get you guys to come out? Another row with dirt. Row with dirt. Uh, there's a fair bit of trash. Uh, look, they just come out like that. All right. And do we have the captain's office? We should do. We should do. We should not. Okay. Can I get a captain's office, please? Uh, I want a buildings. I want a captain's office. I'm obviously up here, guarding the gold mountain. Seems like a great spot for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, overlooking the gold, sitting on top of a, a copper ore deposit. We're going to go straight into health boost one and health boost two. I'm also going to throw in growth boost. Why can't I put on growth boost? Health is low. Oh, okay. We'll get the health boost two. That's going to give us 20 health. Um, 76 work is needed. We're going to go priority one on you. All right. How are we dealing with the trash? Yes. Yes. Okay. Trash has been dealt with. Things should go back to normal. Uh, we still have not enough workers. We're going to go growth boost three. And that should retain return things back to normal. At the same time, we'll buy 10 people from here. We'll buy 10 people from here. And we'll sh send the shippy off. Because that's the last location I have to visit. Where I can find out whether I know all the bad places to visit. Or just most of them. Bye, shippy. Okay, so that should fix that problem. Trash is instantly sorted. Because, well, we can sort it. It just, I forgot to clear enough area to dump trash, obviously. Uh, we also need to drag that out to there for dirt. And yeah, I was ignoring the notifications. Okay, where were we? We were doing this system. Okay, so this system is would be up and running if we had employees. In the meantime, we still need to bootstrap it. So I'm going to turn this on for the coal recipe. So because it's a manual on, it's going to get the coal in automatically because it's already got coal right there. But at the same time, somebody, somebody some kind of trucky soul is going to bring over some water. If we bring over some water, that should be enough to create some steam. Once we create some steam, we should be able to boot the system. And once it's booted, it should be self-sustaining. That's the words I'm looking for. Uh, at the same time, this is the water pipe I need to replace, which is that one. Which means we are going to bring a water pipe out here. Let's so get you to height three. Height two? No, height three three is the one I want. Uh, yep, and we're going to run on top of that, and I believe, I hope so, that is that is my water pipe. Okay, so we're going to upgrade that water pipe, because obviously I'm, I'm moving about 50, 60 water through it, maybe 70. Uh, so we're going to upgrade that pipe, we're going to instant build that pipe, and that's going to go all the way through to here. Uh, I need to upgrade that pipe. I need to upgrade that pipe because you're feeding two boilers and then we should be good to go. All right. So apart from missing some workers, that seems to be up and running. Now you are prioritized out to make sure this guy gets water. Hey, we found more places not to visit. Yay. All right. Come home. All right. Uh, where were we? So yes. We're going to prioritize out to make sure that we always have water in this boiler, ready to refire the system. And we're now producing about 150 water. We are going to obviously remove that pipe because we don't need any more. We're going to remove you as well. And then I need to do something about large storage because uh, we just completed storage large. All right. 
I want to toggle the direction on that, and I want to move this tank, and I want to put a remove. I want to put a large storage going. Uh, I know, we're, we're swapping topics. We're swapping topics left, right, and center. I want to put a large storage right about here. Because uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure the vehicles grab fluids. Uh, grab uh, diesel directly from the uh, cargo port, the, the, the shipyard port. But I'm not sure. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that we have a feed in. At the same time, I want to make sure I have a tank here. Which means that the, they, they can grab diesel from right here. Um... To fuel themselves. Yeah, that's the plan at least. Okay, you are good. You have a tank that will fill up with diesel eventually, and in the meantime, it's being pumped into there. Uh, we have some upgrades, which we're obviously going to fit to Mr. Shippy, so we can go find all the places that I shouldn't visit and revisit them. We need to set you to auto repair because you've taken bless all damage. 11, 11, 11 bits of iron damage. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I need to remove this tank. Uh, no, I don't want to remove that pipe, cancel, uh, and I want to pause you. Yes, because I'm hoping we can pick up the diesel from here and take it to there. That's the grand plan, at least. At the same time, I want to remove that pipe, and that pipe, and that pipe. Or you can dump the diesel straight in here, I really don't mind. It has to go in the ship. Uh, you're done. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna add some uh some friendly guns to our boat, which should mean that we get a battle score, battle score, battle score of 190, which means anything uh, less than 190, we should be able to say hello to and solve the problem. Can I remove that, please? All right, with you removed, I now have storage. I now have a big storage. We're gonna put a big storage in right here. This big storage is going to toggle direction, it's going to get instantly built, and it's going to hold just a tiny bit of diesel. It's also directly connected to this, so we have fuel... Do I upgrade it? I don't really need to upgrade it. But am I going to upgrade it anyway? I'm going to upgrade it anyway. I'm going to upgrade it anyway. Alright, uh, so this is going to hold just a tiny little bit of diesel. Uh, 2,000... Uh, 2,000 2000 units worth of diesel. Which is a tiny bit. Also, it's fed by a Mark II pipe, which we are splicing off some to run this, which can now be unpaused. And we should be good. Okay. So that's that done. That's that, that done. We have desal running. Desal is currently only running oil. We need to also have desal run uh this, the housing. The housing needs some water. They still need 69 water. They're also outputting 57 wastewater. So I'm gonna take a pipe out of here. Out of my clean water. We're using, what was it, about 60? About 60 water. So in theory, I should have around about 100 water free, which is good because the settlement are thirsty. They like drinking. I don't know why. Something about washing hands and, and, and not having cholera and all sorts of other things, but, you know, I, I don't get it. All right, we're going to bring the pipe through to there. Once I bring it to there, I'm actually going to wrap it around the side. Uh, we're going to instant build all of, oh, all of this. And then this little balancer, what I actually want to do is I want to prioritize in from the two pumps, okay? The reason I want to do the two pumps is if this area runs out of water, absolutely, the only thing it's going to affect now is our concrete production. And when it affects our concrete production, we have a tank right here, so it's going to be a while. But at the end of the day, I can just change the priority on this, and that would instantly fix the problem. The other reason I want to run these two guys is it means I actually cut down on some of the fuel usage here for the coal. That's pretty much it, okay? It's... Sorry, I got an alarm going off. Uh, it's not not super high-tech or anything. It's just, it's just saving ourselves a little bit of fuel um, in exchange for using a little bit of power. But that should keep those guys happy. It should give them plenty of water, at least backup water. At the same time, we're outputting 57.9 nasty water. I want to collision, collision with shipyard, liquid dump, put you there. Yay, we blocked the seaport. Okay, I want to put that there. We're going to add in right now a second liquid dump, and I'm also going to upgrade that pipe, because as soon as this output goes over 60, we would be in trouble, okay? It would start to back up in the pipe, because it can't get into the pipe fast enough. 
it also can't dump fast enough because this only outputs 60 per minute. So we're going to do a second liquid dump so it has an option to go in here and, you know, fix that problem. Same time, dock, go away. Go away. All right, uh, not enough workers. Oh, we're full on housing. Uh, okay, I guess we upgrade this housing again. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. I don't really have any spot to expand. Yeah. Yeah, about that, JD. About that. Uh, can I bring another tile out here? And trash is, well, you can see, it's 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 sliding. If we look at this green line here, it's 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 got some weird lines on one side, and the other side is dead straight. Yeah, it's... it's Trash is messy. Messy is a landfill. Alright. Why don't you just keep extending out? Okay. Uh, fuel gas. Fuel gas is maxed out, which means we just unpause you and you. And 20 workers. Uh, world map? World map. Nope. World map. Uh, bye. Bye. Zero workers. Hey, we got there. Okay. So, uh, we've got fuel gas done, we've got, uh, we've got fuel gas done, we've got diesel done, and we've done a little bit of a cleanup here, this is still full, uh, to fix that problem, what I'm going to do is, in here we have a little priority system, we're going to priority in from this pipe, which is actually linked all the way back to this diesel tank, this diesel tank, yep, so I'm going to start pulling this diesel, in, uh, this, this crude oil in, rather than this crude oil, which means hopefully, Priority one. You're going to import priority five. You're super low, but I need this empty. Uh, you have nothing to be dug, really? Well, we found the bottom of the iron mine. Uh, okay, so pile number 13 seems to be clear. We will just dig that out at, at tile number 13 as well. Uh, you have a lot of rock. I need a lot of rock. You know what? Uh, I would like you to dig this. And this, and can I get a, oh, I can get a retaining wall in there. Okay, I need to have it built, which requires concrete, which we don't have, which is one of the things we need, we need meant to talk about in this episode. Uh, you can go away, because you are sort of on to fall down, and I built a wall behind you, so it should be okay. Uh... Uh, no, do not dig dot lower. Just... Tile 13. Okay, I will come in there eventually and dig that out. Uh, we'll dig those two out. We will definitely start going this way. Obviously, trucks can't get across over here anymore. So you know what? We're just going to dig all the way up here. And if we turn on the overlay, it's not that many more tiles to get to the end. Uh, or the edge, rather. So let's risk it and go out another two. Is that all the tiles? No, it's one more tile after that. Okay, that would be all the iron ore in theory. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, okay, minus one unit. Oh, it's because we've got so many edicts running. Uh, can we go over here? Can we turn off that? Oh, no. Level one, turn that off. Health boost. Level one, turn that off. Uh, food. Doesn't store all vegetables. That's what I thought. Uh, plenty of food. Plus one. Does that help me at all? I have so much positive unit. There's no point. That's the problem. I, I I just don't have a need for uni. Um, I, I, I'm not doing recycling yet. I, I just don't have a need. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you done? You are done. And that tank is empty. Great. Let's swap you back to using the other uh, crude oil from the shipyard, which means oil is running fine. As you can see, now we've got a big storage container on the end. It's running flat out. It's a busy boy. Which hopefully means I now have plenty of sulfur. I also should have plenty of fertilizer. That looks pretty fine. Again, 69 in the tank. That's empty, which is a thing. Uh, you have 100% fertilization. You have 100%. We also have some in all the tanks. Yep, some in all the tanks. Yeah, I have excess food. Uh, okay, and you have no fertilizer. Uh, somebody just got chopped off. Okay, uh, but you are at doing it like 115%. So I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm really, really not worried. Okay, I think we're going to be done for this episode. I'm pretty happy with everything we've got done. 
Uh, we do have more trucky trucks on the way. No, we don't, because we're out of... Oh, we're out of glass. Which means I need to take a trading dog and whack it out here, and hopefully we don't have to blow it up again. All right, uh, we need to trade for some more uh, trade for some more glass because I want to have these vehicles done. I also want to replace the excavators. We've replaced five of them. I'd really want to replace the rest, and I probably want to go up to twenty excavators. Twenty ex excavators seems like a good number. Uh, I also have a problem of not enough concrete. Not enough concrete is probably something I want to do next episode, but I don't think we're going to have a chance. I think we're going to have to do glass. Because if I do glass, it means that I don't have to keep clicking this button. Yeah, 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 glass. I think we're going to do glass. Anyway, I'm definitely going to call this episode here. Uh, we've got a little bit of room for expo extra population. Oh, and we now have guns. Not very good guns. They're just little guns, but we now have guns. So it means we can go out and say hi to all the neighbors. Oh, we're going to have to wait to have some cargo to be able to people put in boat. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have fertilizer two in there as well. Yeah, go boats. All right, I need to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode of Captain Mystery, where glass, maybe, maybe, you know, fifth time I've sort of tried to slot it in the queue. Maybe we'll get glass done. Otherwise, we're going to have to do concrete. Uh, concrete slabs is also high on my list. Both need to be sort of looked at and refined and fixed up. So I'm going to call it here. Thank you for watching. As always, do hope you've enjoyed. Also, if you watch right to the end of the video, you obviously liked it. Can you click the like button? And you're also in episode, what, 15 of a Let's Play. I think you passed you to click the subscribe button. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.